I had to dress this grinding wheel that I kind of ran into a little hard and, and uh, I was going to show this grinder, this uh, tool post grinder that I've rigged up because I've had questions from people about what that tool post in the grinder is and this is what I use it for so I was going to show you how I actually dress a grinding wheel because this, this, uh, the fluting wheel on this um, grinding wheel pack I kind of ran into the tool a little hard and I I messed it up a little bit. You can see those shiny rings kind of on the OD of the wheel. Well, that's not good. It, it won't grind like that. So I got to redress this. And there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can grind it. I'm just grinding it off right here, but but in reality, what works better, you'll see me do it right at the end of this. I didn't show the whole dressing process because this actually takes quite a bit of time. These wheels are very hard. But right there, I'm actually letting the grinding wheel rotate and kind of crush grind into the into that tool post grinders wheel and that actually takes the dresses the wheel quicker than trying to grind it because that diamond wheel just grind down that grinding wheel so I run a little coolant on there to flush all the you know debris off after I've dressed it you can see the wheel looks quite a bit better here you can see the sparkly diamonds a little bit in there you have to open up the pores with that dressing stick by hand you saw me do previous to this. Or the wheel won't grind worth a darn at all. Then I, then I reprobed the whole wheel pack here. So that we'd have the new, new uh, dimensions of the wheel after I dressed it. And this is just the probing cycles. It kind of jogs the spindle a little bit and it, and it gets different spots on the wheels when it probes them like this. Yesterday they brought me a, a tool over here at Centerline. They want to make a modification to it. It's this little, I don't know if you can read that. It's a Micro 100 um, bar. And it's take that bar and modify it. Right now it cuts, um, it's a 30, uh, I mean 93 thousandths wide. So I'd have to take and grind a little bit right here kind of like that and make this tip to groove 20 thousandths wide. We both go about doing this on this software on this machine. We go over to the Numoto software and we have to define I've already I've already done this but I'll just show it again. We have to define a profile to grind, which is just going to be a straight line that starts out at the OD of the grooving tool and comes down the 30 thousandths, 30 thousandths long at a 92 degree angle. So we have a little clearance when it's done. So on this machine, all you have to do, they have this editor where you can draw the, the profile of what you want. And you do that and then you, um, define some relief angles. See they call this form A. It's a form tool actually. And these are going to be your relief angles. We're only going to grind one relief so it's going to be these angles, these eight degrees, five. And, and really we're only interested in this um, relief towards the point which is five degrees in this case. We might be able to reduce this actually. I'm, I'm going to make this about um, 2.5. I'm going to reduce it by half on that. And then we have to have a helix angle. We only got one flute and it's straight. And we're going to be using form A for our helix angle. In this case, you have to give it a length here. So I just gave it a hundred thousandths length. That really doesn't matter because we're not actually fluting or anything here. We're just grinding the back of the tool because it's already been formed and there's no tip so we don't need that and here's the blank definition the blank definition uh, of our blank this over here on in this area they're, they're showing the actual form of what we're doing but it's it's so small you can't really see it so so that's all you have to define really here and then you got to define a grinding um, method, I guess you call it, and uh, and 
assign a grinding a wheel to it. But this is our line like we had before. It, it's facing the other direction because, let, let's go back here for a second. In this geometry model, they use the x-axis. Let me see if I can, I can zoom back and we can see the... Okay. So here's the, here's our grinding profile. It's, it's just a little teeny grind, so it's way out here. But the y-axis, okay. The, the y-axis in this case is the um, diameter or cross-axis of the tool, and the x is the z in the machine. But they program it into x and y here for some reason. This is just the way the software works. So. What you're seeing here is um, this up here would be the OD or the big diameter, I guess you'd say, of this grooving tool, and we're grinding back behind it. And this is reversed to the way it's in the machine, but this is just the way it works on this software. So the the X is really, in essence, the Z axis or the rotational A axis on this machine, and uh, this direction is really going in the in the Z minus. <laughs> I know that's confusing, but that's the way this works. So you program your profile. If you had a form tool like you had a corner router, you'd be making a radius like this, or you know various other kinds of shapes, which you can do all of those kind of shapes. So, but we're just grinding a very simple grind here. And so this is all the parameters we can set here, we need to set. Then we gotta assign a grinding wheel, which I've assigned this wheel to it. This is one of my, uh, grinding wheels already in the machine and um, we have to assign how far that thing is sticking out of the collet sticking out one inch measured from the end of the collet and I happen to know this dimension is always the same in my collet chuck of 5.8 inches and then roughly the diameter of the end of this half inch collet is 700 thousandths it's got a, it does it's not really shaped like this picture but that's kind of irrelevant for the purpose of what we're doing here. So that's the the definition of the grinding profile. It's it's not too complicated. And then we uh, we go over here to the simulator, and I had to draw. Um, that's a simulation, but I had to draw this blank here, which I'll go to the other computer and and, and show that in the CAD software so I have a, a model of the tool. It makes it easier to program, you know, to, to simulate this and to see what's happening. You don't actually have to have this model but it makes it a lot easier to see where you're actually grinding. So this is the um, simulation in the machine. So let me just step forward on this. So it's actually going to rotate the tool down that way and going to grind in here like that and roll off the tool. So that's our grind. I actually changed this clearance angle so I want to check that how it's doing the roll off part of this. So it might be doing too much now. Let's let's step through that again. It's going to run it through it real slow here with the steps see where I'm at. Okay, so this is the grinding wheel coming up here to the tool. And now I'm going to step down on this a little bit. What I want to make sure is when I roll off, I'm not cutting away the end of that, that tool right there. See, it's cutting the end off because I'm moving too much in, in a Z outward, so I gotta change that setting here on the, the roll off dimension. Um, minus is actually towards the plus in Z on this program. It's kind of like the Mazatrol in that respect. I'm gonna change this to five thousandths because I reduced that angle by half. Let's see if we can make this work this way. Step in here again. See it. We got to be careful not to not to grind the angle 
off of the end of that tool. That's better. But I think I'm still going to uh, I'm going to reduce it a little bit more. It looked like it might be barely hitting that. So we go back here to the roll off. We'll go minus three thousandths. Let's run through it one more time. Okay, that looks pretty good. There. I think that's going to work. Um, this tool has kind of, this grinding wheel, I guess you'd say, has kind of a big radius on it, so I'm going a little beyond so I get their definite depth they want up to this radius. Thank you. 